Welcome back to the channel, everybody. This is Todd, Southern Sipper. Uh, we are coming to you today back from the front porch. I hadn't been on the front porch in a long time, and we're on the front porch uh, today because it's raining. It's been raining on and off all day, and I just looked at the radar. Uh, we are, we're under a big cloud. It's light stuff. It's just, you know, it's just a big green colored cloud. Um, but still not going to sit out underneath shade cloth and get wet. Uh, not only that, on every chair out there is wet. Uh, you know, the front porch is totally covered, you know. I used to do all my reviews from right here. Uh, and then you guys told me that you, you like the backdrop and all better. In the backyard, on the back patio, better than the old white brick wall back here. That brick wall... Uh, now they painted that white before I moved in. I'd have never done that. And uh, it's too late. You can't. I'm not changing it. I mean, I I might change the paint on it, but there's there's no going back to the old to that brick. Uh, it'd have to be sandblasted. Oh, jeez. I don't even. Probably I'd have to tent both of both of these archways that come in here. That would be an absolute undertaking of uh, monumental proportions just to do this front porch it's just not going to happen may one day put another coat of paint on there and there is god only knows how many coats of paint are currently on that brick i mean this brick's been here over 100 years so there's been a lot of different people with a lot of different ideas of what may or may not look good under here and uh the white ain't bad now we did you can't see it because I'm lazy. I'm not going to turn the camera around. But one day I'm going to do a little tour of the whole place, you know, if y'all say you might like to see it. We've got a side archway and a front archway. Uh, and on the inside faces of those, we that's a dark gray, and we painted our round brick steps a dark gray. They were white, too. It looked terrible. Uh, that looked bad. What's up there now, it, that really changed it, putting that gray up. So... That was uh, Mrs. Sipper's color choice. I generally, uh, generally always see that sort of thing to her because uh, if you want me to decorate something, it's probably going to be a disaster if you let me do it on my own. Uh, now, what we got today, I'm pouring it before I showed it to you, but guess what I can do? Uh, I can show it to you post-pour, just as easy as I can pre-pour. So, this is the uh, Corova Peanut Butter Milk Porter from Gnarly Barley Brewing. Now, I'm fairly confident that I'd, I've reviewed something else from Gnarly Barley. They are in Hammond, Louisiana. Uh, Hammond, North Montgomery. Montgomery, for heaven's sake. You know, it's the first beer I've had today. Uh, you wouldn't know it after that remark. <laughs> Montgomery it is it's north of Louisiana on the North Shore is where Hammond is, <laughs> is located now despite the fact I guess they just had to do it probably let things get out of hand I got a neighbor over here has been mowing since I uh, tried to come set up out here and now he's got the weed eater going you know good on him you know you got to do what you got to do I guess Oh boy, you can really, you can smell peanut butter in that, boys. And girls, it is a, uh, look, I, I keep trying these things with the peanut butter and I just hadn't found one of them that I enjoyed. I love all things peanut butter and peanuts. And I, you know, I, I boil goobers and freaking peanut butter and dry roasted peanuts, cocktail peanuts, parched peanuts. In the shell, out of shell, I don't care. Uh, Mardi Gras happens right down here. I'm gonna go most every parade, and they throw lots of bags of peanuts, man. I'll as high as my old ass can sky up. I will sky up over a bag of damn peanuts, and then I'm gonna. Generally speaking, uh, the first one's probably going down during the parade. You know, any extras, they, they'll come home.
Um, yeah, you know what? Of the of the lot of peanut butter porters and stouts that I've tried over the years, that's easily the best one. Uh, peanuts not overpowering, and it's a pretty solid porter with just a little bit of extra. You know that peanut butter just brings a little bit of extra. They did they did it right. Now, am I going to drink a belly of foot? No, I probably not. Uh, it is, I mean, at 6.2%, that's a good number. But, stupid flies, you know, off and uh, and a good old trusty thermosail does a great job on mosquitoes and such, but not flies. Um, now, on the website, they listed out all the fermentables. Um, you know, there's caramel malt and chocolate malt and crystal 30 uh, it has Columbus hops so uh, it it mentions a strong coffee flavor there's some coffee definitely in there along with that peanut butter and some you can also pick up notes of caramel and all that all the usual suspects in a nice well-rounded porter does it mention if there's coffee actual coffee in it so or chocolate you know, I don't know if there's cocoa nibs in there or not. It very well could be, you know, based on the flavor profiles that I'm picking up. However, uh, th that it's just rather nice. Uh, they did a good job with the hops or the hop that they're using on that. It's hop just enough you know to kind of fight off because this thing would be super sweet uh without it uh so they did a they did a good job with the, with the hop presence in this one also it's got a bready and a yeasty almost yogurty kind of twang on the finish that that kind of helps it i, I don't know how better to explain that if y'all watch my reviews you've probably figured that out by now that I am this is I enjoy doing it doesn't mean I'm good at it you know what I mean but th I do like that and now that I'm what do you think third of the way in you know and I've kind of acclimated a bit to it I, I, you know it's it's kind of it's kind of getting better uh I rather enjoy that. Still, I'm still up in the air whether or not. Now, this beer, I'm up in the air how many of them I could drink in a day. I'm going to leave that up to further uh, research. I only have one, though, which is might be a good thing. Uh, got this one from my good buddy. He lives over in Slidell, Louisiana, Jamie. Uh, he's Him and I are in the same boat. You open up our beer cooler and... There's not going to be a, a 12 pack or a six pack of one thing. There's going to be a veritable cornucopia of imbibing pleasures when you pop the lid on either one of our coolers. Uh, you know, I will have multiples of each type, not, you know, 12 singles, but, or however many may be in there. Uh, but you will have options. I always carry more than one option when I. When I attend a, a you know a big event like that one over there in Slide L. Now when I go downtown for Mardi Gras, uh, I'm pretty mobile when I go down there, so I pack small. Um, been in last the past year, I enjoyed taking seltzers. They a little bit more bang for your buck, or bang per can, as it were. Uh, that that was fun. Oh, rain's picking up now. Where we at on this thing? Not almost 10 minutes. Yeah. Now, I do not know uh, what gnarly barley's distribution footprint may be. I, I don't expect it's particularly large. I've actually never seen any of their stuff in Mobile. I, I'm only two hours from there. So, you know, it, it may be difficult to get outside of. Out, outside, almost knocked my glass over. Outside of that area, 
So, all that being said, uh, since it's raining and I'm going to be cooped up in the house, I think I'm going to get another one of these done today. Uh, I was tinkering around in the backyard uh, trying to get my, my poor little shed, man, we, it, back under control. It's, a, it's, not a big, it's not a big shed, and I've had been doing a bunch of little projects, you know, cleaning up the yard and, tie, and decorating the yard and getting everything all nice and neat because it's July and I know cool weather isn't all of that close however I don't want it to sneak up on me I want to have all these kind of little uh, you know ticky tack little things done because when the weather cools down I, all I want to do is sit back here and run the grill and have beverages and socialize and things like that so and when I get a lot, when I do a lot of project back to back to back like that, everything just kind of gets thrown in there, and then I got to take a day, you know, and clean it up. And that's what I was going to do today. I, I can still, I mean, it doesn't rain inside the shed. I can still get in there, but got to come in and out, and I have to set some things outside, and that's not a good plan when it's raining. So, one more time. Now that we've cleared the air on all that I'll say it again please like and subscribe to the channel and always enjoy your adult malted beverages responsibly